Before doing any of these other steps, first you must enable Developer Console. You can do this by going to Options, then click on Keyboard and Mouse and there's an option to enable Developer Console there. Make sure it's enabled. And now you're set to start recording using Source. Uh, so just start any game that you want, join a server, multiplayer, single player, anything. And right after the map loads, uh, open console. To open console, hit the button to the left of one, below escape, and above tab. When you do, it will look like this. Now type in record space one and hit enter. Now the game is being recorded by the game's engine. You cannot upload one of these types of files directly to YouTube, so don't try. Once you've inputted that command and the console says it's recording, you're safe to play the game normally. And you shouldn't notice as much lag as you would with Fraps, Wii Game, or x or any other recorder. Keep playing until you reach to the end of the map, and then when you do, before the game ends, open console and type in stop and hit enter. That way it stops the recording and keeps it from trying to record a different file when the game changes maps. So, on the next map, you have the option to, instead of typing in record 1, you can change it to record 2. If you use record 1, it will record over your previous file. That's good if you have nothing interesting that happened last time. If you choose record 2, it will create a new file, which is also good. You can choose what you want to do at this point. If nothing good happened, then just record over it. So, just repeat this process of record, and then a number, and then stop once you get to the end of the map. Whenever you feel like it, you can move on to the next step of recording using Source. I usually uh, stop around 10 recorded demo files, just because it's easier to work with. Alright, now it's time to turn those demo files into AVI files. Before we do that, I recommend going online and getting the XFID compressor, because it gives you the best quality for this type of recording. It can be found on the XFID website, which is linked in the video description. Before starting to record, I recommend you change your resolution down to 1024 by 768 Higher resolutions have been known to cause problems while recording. To play back your demo files, you can either hold Shift and hit F2 and bring up Demo UI, hit Load and double click your file, or, if that doesn't work, which it doesn't for Left 4 Dead 2 on me, you can type in Console, Play Demo, and then the file name after a space. Hold Shift and hit F2 to bring up the demo user interface. Use the Go To function to skip to right before what you want to record. It may take some guesswork if you don't know where that is. Pause the demo and type in console start movie space file name space avi, where I use just one. It will not record over my demo file, don't worry. This creates a separately new file. Now choose the XFID compressor from the drop down menu and then hit OK once you've chosen it. Now the console's ready to record, so all you have to do is hit resume, and then close console, and then close demo UI. Now you just have to wait for it to play through whatever you want to record. Don't worry if your sound is stuck in a loop, because that's what's supposed to happen. It'll sound like something like this. Once you're past what you want to record, type in end movie and console, and now the recording has stopped. Now you have an AVI file to work with. To get to your video file, go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, ah, uh, Left 4 Dead 2, or whatever game it is, and there's your file right there. So you can edit it or whatever. And then if you go to Left 4 Dead 2 with no spaces folder, or whatever the game's name is, all your demo files are here, so you can do whatever with them. And that's the basics of source recording. Driving a demo lets you get different views while inside a demo recording. But first, it's very nice if you can get rid of your HUD and your weapons. To get rid of your HUD, type in Hide HUD Space 4 and hit Enter. This will remove any remnants of your HUD and the chat dialog. As you can see, I no longer have the health bars for my teammates. Typing in R underscore draw view model space 0 gets rid of your weapons, and if you're infected, gets rid of your claws. Now you're ready to hit Drive. In order to move, you must hold left click, and then you can use your movement keys to move around inside the demo. The demo UI doesn't have to be open either, so you can close it to get out of your way. And now you can just spectate, basically, anywhere in the map that you want. Sometimes when your game updates, you will no longer be able to watch demo files recorded prior to the update. It will tell you that your demo files are out of date. This can be remedied sometimes by doing the following. Go to where the demo files are located, then scroll down until you see a notepad file named Steam. Open it, and change the patch version to whatever the demo file needed. Save your changes, and then close the notepad file. After doing this, you can start your game. 
and it should work and it does so then do whatever you need to do and once you finish that then go back to the steam notepad file open it and change it back to what it was save your changes and then close it if anyone has any questions about what editor I use, I use Corel Video Studio 12, mainly because I got it as a gift. But if you don't want to spend any money on your editor, then you might as well try, I guess, Windows Movie Maker. Even though it crashes every two seconds, well, there's not much else that's free out there. But just recently I found Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, which is free and has limited uh, editing abilities. You may want to check it out. It looks better than Windows Movie Maker, at least probably won't crash as often. Uh, if you're interested, then all you have to do is go to the website linked in the uh, video description and just download it. Read the video description for more information.